Hello everybody, I'm Aisha Risk, and it's that time again. Time to watch more Ruby. So, let's see what's going on today. I'm, well, remembering last, you know, I can hit play and go through the intro. Uh, remembering last volume, there was a, um, <laughs> break a leg, sis. Remember that? That was fun. Um. And especially with the name and the, um, I guess, thumbnail for it um, before it starts auto-playing was of Tyrion. So, I'm kind of worried about this, actually. Also, the fact that it's, um, the right before their break. So, yeah. It, I'm trying not to read the, um, there's a blurb at the bottom of it. I'm trying not to read that right now. <laughs> it's not easy. I don't want to move the window because I don't know what that would do in OBS. I don't feel like hitting record again. Let's see, last time we got to see... Um, last time we got to see, um, Blake's parents. I really liked the father. Uh, he used to be the leader. However, here we go. I'm expecting a ranger, actually. Another day, another adventure. Hmm. That's Nora. Walking. With a side of... Walking. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. This journey was going to take. I don't know. I grew up in a small area. I've never been this far away from home. Right. And Patch is relatively close to Vale. Maybe like two weeks? What? Okay, fine. Three or something. <laughs> Let's see. And Whatever. If they start at the lower corner of Mistral, it's hey, going to take. Let's see. That's about as. Yeah, <laughs> length of veil. Ooh. I didn't think we'd be hitting another village for a few days. Are those buildings damaged? We should search for survivors. And leave the map. Uh, cause John. Is it a destroyed town or a building one? You know, considering a lack of people, I guess I'd answer that one. Hmm. It almost seems like the town was abandoned. But not on the map. Which I found a little weird. Aniuri. Never heard of it. Me neither. Maybe why? Think of it as Anima's Mountain Glen, had it never been completed. Mm. Years ago, the richest members of Mistral were unhappy with how the kingdom was being run. Frustrated with the council, they pooled their resources together to build their own city. With their own laws. They hoped that one day, it could maybe even become its own kingdom. So does... Many thought it would be the future. Is Ren a history buff? I know my parents did. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. What always happens. Well. With Ren. The theory that Nora and Ren grew up together. Not just anyone. Or came from the same place is wrong. But I still think they did grow up together. But apparently we found where it runs from. Come on. <clears throat> Just the two of you. Excuse me. This place gives me the creeps. Hmm. 
I guess it also means they're not related. So where is Nora from then? Hello, Moon. Nope, sorry. Mute it, tried to mute the mic so I could cough, and apparently it skipped. Oops. Need to pick a better hotkey, apparently. Oh, nice. Now, I'm kind of curious, is that the voice actor, or is that, um, Casey? Sorry, I'm just listening to the song. This is so gonna get struck. <laughs> so, I'm actually gonna fill this in because I'm probably gonna mute the um, clip audio for that part so it doesn't get flagged. Actually, I don't mind if it gets flagged, I don't wanna get struck. Whitley's next to Papa. Winter is not. Yep. She doesn't like the... She doesn't like to be forced to sing. However, I do think she likes to sing. Mother? Or just random person it decided to focus on. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see who I can see. We offer Fauna the exact same wages given to the rest of our mining staff. Their argument's completely invalid right out of the gate. Well, I think the bigger issue here is our society as a whole. What? You mean Atlas? Atlas, Mantle. You can't deny the economic disparity between the two. I mean, what exactly are you suggesting? I'm just saying, I don't think it's necessarily an issue. Oh. Thirsty. Sweetheart, we have people for that. What? No, I can get it. I'll be right back, I promise. Look, no one asked. Just kick him in the shin. But companies like the SEC promised us jobs. I'm sorry, I tuned out for a second, but sounds like I'm the good guy again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's laughing about it. Hmm. A photo of the fall of Beacon? It's beautiful. You two match. Yes, it's a lovely painting. So, that was my attempt at breaking the ice. <laughs> How am I doing so far? Lots of snow and ice jokes. You are leaving a lot to be desired. Well, I've always appreciated honesty. There's that pineapple. Marigold. Marigold, huh? Why shni? <laughs> I know. I saw your performance. Obviously. <clears throat> you were wonderful. And I promise I'm not just saying that because you're pretty. Honesty, remember? So. You're trying way too hard, dude. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's kind of pricey for a painting. It's to raise money. Oh, really? For what? For what? <laughs> I'll admit, I only come to these things for the food and drinks. And the extraordinary company, of course. So what? Is it another mantle fundraiser or something? Get out. <laughs> what? Yeah, I can't claim I'm much like me, Henry. Or I will have security escort you out. But I haven't done it. Leave! Reminds me of Mercury. It's the first thing I thought when I saw him. Just show the world we care. I somehow doubt the proceeds are going to Vale. It was a long time coming, if you ask me. Honey? What? <laughs> you said the same thing last night. If they're so arrogant, 
stupid to think they can get by without proper kingdom defense, then I say good riddance. Shut up! Yeah, that's not gonna go over well. A lot of people have delayed reactions. It's kind of funny. You don't have a clue. None of you do. Excuse me. You're all just standing around talking about nothing, worrying about your hair, your money, your stupid problems. That this isn't gonna go well. Weiss, that's enough. Let go of me. You're embarrassing the family. I said let go. Oh. Um, okay. Um, hello, Ironwood. What are you waiting for? She's insane. She should be locked up. She's the only one making sense around here. <laughs> Thanks for the party. James. So much respect for James in this. And Jacques is not happy. The mustache is mad. So apparently, granted, it wasn't nearly as big as the Iron Knight. <clears throat> but I get the feeling she's gotten a lot better at summoning. Does he have extra sensory hearing? I like his face. We're not going to let you do and I'm curious why he's interested in John. Good. John! He's skilled. Oh, I see. I thought for a second she missed. That was intentional. Well, if that isn't ironic. Interesting strategy. Why'd you stop hitting him? He can control that tail. What is this about? The White Fang? Roman Torchwick? Plastic soldiers and pawns. Scorpion.
Now, certainly interesting. Ow. Explains so much. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Though, well, interesting, he's a Faunus. So... Ah... Uh, pivot point. Yeah. Is a remix of a song, but I can't think of what. Anyway, I'm gonna pause that. And move over here so I can actually see what I'm doing. And bye bye. So, first off, Rooster Teeth. That wasn't very nice, leaving it right there. Or we might actually see Crow actually go all out on somebody you cut out. That could have gone a lot worse, certainly. I still haven't read the text. I, I probably won't. I might watch it again just to listen to that song. And I will probably do something to the sound during the song. Let's see. Shooting Nora. That was interesting. Not what I would have expected, and she only hit swung once. She didn't keep swinging, which is a mistake. I was actually half, you know, seeing Scorpion. I was actually half expecting Nora to die there. Um, there's a backstory, you know, died of poison though. It was from a snake, not a scorpion. Um, is how Thor, in theory, met his end. Hmm. I said, Weiss accidentally summoning is a rather interesting thing, and can I just say again, more, you know, I have all the respect for Ironwood in this volume. I was kind of leery about him in the first, you know, the second one. Fairly leery, but he, you know, turned out to be kind of a badass in the third. The fourth, I have so much respect for him. And I, honestly, I seriously doubt those money, that money you know, being raised is going to go to Vale. Just a hunch. Uh, <laughs> there was no, a, you know, physical attack or terrorist attack at the, um, or at least the White Fang attack during the concert. So there was an attack and a bit of terror um, at the reception afterwards. Uh, Henry, not, don't like Henry. He reminds me of Mercury, and I don't really care for his tone in a lot of things. Definitely didn't care for the lady, and you know, kind of glad she got what she got. Kind of wish Armwood didn't shoot the summon, actually. Or at least wait a little while. Eh, yeah, maybe a minute or two. Surely, uh, Borbatesque image couldn't do that much damage in two minutes. So I probably will go listen to the song again. Hmm. Kind of wish it was longer. Honestly. I understand why it's not. It probably will be a full... Hmm. Excuse me. Probably will be a full thing on the soundtrack. Though, seeing a bit of... Ren's origin that while they may have grown up in an orphanage together 
they didn't come from the same circumstances. Um, Rand was act actually apparently, you know, was, you know, aristocrat, you know, which I guess I can see some of that in his character. The people of Mistral, or the wealthy of Mistral, wanted to make a, a place of their own. Didn't work out very well. All in all, this wasn't a real big episode on different things to talk about. Now, Tyrion, the again, he's not the smartest fighter. Because, you know, he likes to play around, and you know, we saw that. You know, expected that. I like how he, the fact he climbed on uh, John's shield. And he said he was a little interested in John. He didn't mention the eye at all either. But he was interested in John, and that has me curious. Hmm. Anyway. Recording is, you know, currently it's. 10.44, I started watching it at 23 on Saturday. I, sorry, this one, I don't have a whole lot to say. As I, I do, you know, again, it, respect for Ironwood. It, it, Crow seems to have a knack for coming in at the last second to save, you know, people. Or save Ruby, specifically. He does it an awful lot. At the last second. Every time. He did it to Amber, too. Oh, however, this time he was able to actually, you know, stop, you know, problems from happening instead of, you know, prevent it from getting worse. Anyway, my outro will come after this, so until then, have a good day. Hello, and once again I'm doing this right before the new thing comes out, even though it's a World of Remnant, so uh, it makes things a little bit easier on me. I do, you know, talking to you from a different room, I've got nice little, some of my posters up, my Ruby ones. However, today I'm going to talk about Renegade's reacts. Uh, they've, I found them through Ruby, though they've reacted to a few other things, like uh, Nostalgia Critic and um, Cinema Sins. There we go. It's a group of, you know, two to four guys. They also play some games on either this or their other uh, channel. They're actually really fun. It, Micah gets a lot of John hate. Uh, yeah, a couple of interesting, you know, guys that have decided to do this. Anyway, I'm Isaac, and have a good day. Bye!